Hello Taurus, welcome to your bonus love reading. This is because you were the most views out of all of the earth signs. So congrats, you get a bonus reading. All right, so let's see. Let's see what we have in store for Taurus in love. What messages do you have for Taurus regarding love spirit? What messages do you have for Taurus regarding love? So will be a general reading, so it will not resonate with everyone watching. You know the drill. For Taurus, please. Using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck here. If you'd like to print this deck at home, it's an affordable price. Check out the description box below. Balancing act. Imbalance, indecision, juggling. You're trying to restore balance in a situation. Okay. Juggling, indecision. Hmm. Reach out, contact, touch, communication. Someone could be reaching out to you here, Taurus, with a text to maybe rebalance something, restore the balance in a situation. Sweet dreams, fantasy, daydream, imagination. This connection is more than you dreamed of. Okay, so for some of you, this is new, and for others of you, you're already talking to this person, but you, it hasn't really. It hasn't really like gone somewhere yet with sweet dreams. It's almost like you've been manifesting this or dreaming about this. And now it's like developing. That's just what I'm picking up. What messages do you have for Taurus? Let's see. Messages for Taurus, please. Regarding love. Spirits. How much just you have for Taurus, please? Regarding love. Two of Wands reverse. So I love that that came right under balancing act. Eight of coin. Five of Wands. Wow, two of cups with the eight of coin. So there's going to be some, some conflict or drama that's going to delay the success of this connection. But this is very strong connection here with the two of, of cups. This is a connection that I feel someone is really working on. Either working on um, making an effort here or contacting you because this is right under reach out. They could be working on what message to send you. This could be even a soulmate here. We'll have to clarify and see. Two of Wands reverse, Ten of Wands reverse. A decision, something that someone was juggling here was a burden or a responsibility of some sort that, that has been dropped or will be dropped. Time is fluid. That's what I see here so far. Let me clarify these energies. I'm just gonna grab one more here. Tell me about this two of wands reverse with the 10 of wands reverse. This is a burden that someone couldn't carry any longer. A weight that someone has finally decided to let go of. It could also be that someone's like dragging this on but for some reason I'm not, ooh, Hierophant, what? There you are, Taurus. This could be a commitment that someone is seeing as an obligation. Tell me more about the two of wands reverse with the ten of wands reverse. Knight of coin. This could be developing into a commitment here. A, a burden was dropped in order for someone to make you some sort of an offer here. A serious offer. This is serious here. Knight of coin, higher font. This is someone who has really taken their time to think about. Not only think about, but like plan 
in a serious way. It, it's almost like they, they don't just want to talk about this with you. They want to make this happen. And I, I think they want to they want to work on this and want to make this happen because you are someone very important to them with the eight of coin, two of cups. Tell me more about this eight of coins and the two of cups. Like this is someone who's focused. This could even be somebody at work for some of you. Nine of coin, four of coin reverse. Interesting. What's at the bottom here? Star reverse, ten of swords reverse. I'm getting some strange messages here, Taurus. And I don't know what was going on with your last reading, but it was a mess. And this should be very simple. This should be a very simple message, but it's not. I know it's not. I can't explain why. It's like there was some sort of ending that someone lost hope in, but they still are holding on to, you know, with the four of coin reverse, it's like they're stubbornly holding on to whatever has ended. Even though on the outside, they appear okay. This could even be you, this nine of coin. They could be stubbornly holding on to you, to what this connection means to them. Yeah, and like wanting to fight for this, geez, it's very intense energy. Someone here, um, some of you, a small number of you, your person has let go of something in order to be free. But for some reason, I feel like there's like a warning bell in my head, like that's not all there is. So I'm gonna leave it there, but be careful with someone that's to told you that they got rid of something and they're completely free because there's like a good chance there's still some attachments there. All right, tell me about this five of wands, six of wands reverse. For Taurus, please. What's this five of wands? Oh my God. Had to be the three of cups, I swear. <laughs> With the lovers at the bottom. Gemini energy. This is again, for those of you that are not new to my channel, you know that the lovers is a choice between the head and the heart between what your mind is telling you and what your thoughts are telling you. I mean, your heart is telling you. Can I get one more? I mean, this could also be, let's say positive, <laughs> Taurus. This could be that someone wants to reunite with you, wants to come together with you here. But there's a delay with the five of wands and the six of wands here reverse. It's like more work needs to be done in order for this to, to still happen, to have success. Hermit reversed, Virgo energy. Can I get one more, please? Full reverse, yeah. So a new beginning here is, 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 is almost like there's, there's still work that needs to be done. There's still figuring out that needs to be done here. Possibly someone needs to think of their finances or save up money or find some resources here. Could be also that someone's already in a commitment with the King of Pentacles. To me, the King of Pentacles is already uh, in a commitment, typically a long-term commitment. So when he shows up, I think, well, this could be somebody that's already you know, and then I have the three of cups here. So I have to say it. Um, 
So I feel like this this had has um potential, but I feel like there has been some drama here, whether you're aware of it or not. This could be that your person has been dealing with drama on their end outside of you, or it could be that there is interferences here. Um, you know, it could be friends, family, people that are sticking their literally their hands in the situation, like fights, dramas, arguments. And um, with the six of ones reverse, I feel like success is is out of reach at this time. Three of cups, again, this idea of too many people, too many cooks in the kitchen, you know. If this is your person wanting to reunite with you, come together with you, this is, de this is delayed. I see these two together. And then I have the hermit reverse with the fool reverse. Um, this person could be running away from the problem rather than attacking it head on. It'll be different for ever for all of you um, that are watching. But this is a very strong connection. I feel like someone does want to work on this though. Like I, I see them wanting commitment here, wanting to have some sort of opportunity here. I just don't think, you know, it's a balancing act, right? It is not so simple. There's still things that need to be worked out here. What else does Taurus need? Oop. What else does Taurus need to know? What else does Taurus need to know? If I could shuffle. What else does Taurus need to know? Seven of Swords reverse. My goodness. Ace of Swords. Someone's going to get caught and there will be clarity here or communication about this. Someone's going to get caught with their hand in the cookie jar or caught lying, caught sneaking off. Something might not work exactly like your person was planning it to work. Yeah, be very careful. Seven of Cups. I feel like when this person gets caught doing whatever it is that they're doing, or if you get caught doing whatever it is that you're doing, Taurus, um, a choice will have to be made. And make sure that there's clarity, there's clear and open, honest communication about this choice. Bottom of the deck, I have the Nine of Wands, Queen of Coin Reverse. So some sort of baggage here, this Ten of Wands could resurface. So I feel like, oops, there's potential for success, but there's also a lot of uh, external factors here. Let's see, what is this person thinking about you? What is this person thinking about Taurus? You matter to me. I feel guilty. <laughs> and I want to see you at the bottom. I don't mean to laugh. It's just they should feel guilty if they're not having clean breaks here. If they're not doing things the way that they're supposed to be doing. If they're avoiding situations instead of meeting them head on. You know, there's only so much that feelings can take. I mean, feelings can only take you so far, you know. But they want to see you. They, that you matter to them. I do feel that. This is a very special connection to them. But will that be enough? You know, it'll be up to you to decide that, you know. It, do you want someone that is completely free? Or do you want to still deal with this drama? All right, Taurus, I'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching the bonus reading. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.